On this episode of Counting Cars, Kevin gets ditched for a rare Corvette. I'll be back. Where are you going? I can, I'll, be, I'll be back. You're going to let me finish my lunch? Eat your food. Come on. Horny Mike and Rolly lose their way. Bear left. This is Las Vegas. There's no bears here. I don't even want to explain it. Oh, you mean it. like go barely to the left? I don't even want to explain it to you. And I take on my most emotional project yet. I'd like to throw something into it for the wife. Something that says her and thank you. What's going on, man? She was diagnosed with breast cancer. Vegas is a gambling town. Most people bet with chips. I bet with rides. Look at this. And I always go all in. Wow. What would you take for this? I'm Danny, AKA The Count, and this is my all-star team. We find them, fix them, flip them, and sometimes I keep them. This is 30 G. I can't help myself. For my crew, every job's high stakes, and we can't afford to lose. This is Counting Cars. Today, Kevin and I decided to take a break from the shop to go search for some new projects. Sometimes we get lucky, sometimes we get shut down. But today, I do feel lucky. What are those? Those are animals, man. <laughs> are those goats or sheep? What's happening? <laughs> yeah! What can a man do? What can a man, what is that? Oh, check that out. Dude. That's a, a Mopar. It's an old Challenger, man. Come on, baby, come on, baby. How you gonna do this? We got a gate. Let's see if I can't catch this guy. He's still right there. He's getting out. That's a nice car, except for that big old smash in the front. Very nice. Hey, man, how you doing? Nice looking car. So, sorry about the front, but nice looking ride. Yeah. You mind if I talk to you about your car for a sec? I'm a car guy. I saw you pulling in, and it was like, wow, that was a good looking car. 22 years and nothing. Are you serious? Oh, my lord. So a total survivor and she got hit. Ah, dude, I'm really sorry about that. I'm Danny, by the way. Jason. Jason, nice to meet you. That's pretty sweet. It's a 70? Yeah, absolutely. 70 Challenger. Yeah. I own a shop. I do hot rods. I do muscle cars and stuff like that. And can we come in and talk to you? If you got a couple minutes, I'd love sure to talk do. to you about your yeah. car and, and uh, you know, see what you got going on. Sure. Dude. Just, uh, pop a gate open for you. That's kind. I appreciate it. Jason, this is uh, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you. I'm crazy purple, huh? I'm crazy. Beautiful. High impact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. This is a shame. What happened? They had a lane closure on the highway. Someone decided to switch lanes and then stop dead short. She needs a facelift, but she'll be OK. <laughs> How long have you had her? Uh, eight years now. Eight years. This car is actually an SE with a smaller NASCAR-style racing window. That's a rare option. It was. This is number 34 of 46 left non to exist. That's it? That is it. Wow. wow. That is very cool. Boy, oh boy, this car just screams early 70s. It was the height of the muscle car wars. Without a doubt. Only new car to be brought to market for 1970. Camaro was already out. Mustang True. was already out. True. Cuda was already out. That's a really good point. Maybe I can make your day a little bit better. I don't know. Would you ever consider selling this car? This car was a gift for my wife. When we got married, she promised me she'd get me my dream car. Yeah. Do you think she would be upset if you sold it? Oh, yeah. She would be crushed. I mean, that's part of the family. You don't get rid of family. Absolutely. This is definitely something that we could handle for you if this is something that you don't want to get into personally. Yeah, I don't think I can get her back together in uh, uh, as quick as I want it. I understand. You know? This car is gorgeous, and it's an important piece of history. I hate to see her all beat up like this. There's no way I could ever turn my back on a car this beautiful. We got to make her right again. I'd also like to uh, throw something into it for the wife. What do you got in mind? She's going through her thing, so I want to make something that's says her and thank you. What's going on, man? Uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, so we're fighting that right now. Oh, sorry to hear I'm that. I'm very sorry to hear Thanks. that. She's your co-pilot, so that when she gets healthy, you guys are gonna have some fun. Yes, we will be back out there tearing it up. Amen to that, I'm with you. Thank you for uh, for taking the time and letting us look at her. And... Oh, anytime. it was nice meeting you guys. Man, it's Appreciate a pleasure it. meeting nice you. Meet you. Come.
Makes you thankful, doesn't it? Yeah. Certain things can really symbolize a relationship, and for this couple, it's their car. And Kevin and I, we really know what's at stake here. There's a lot more riding on this than just making some quick cash. Everything on this car needs to be perfect, including that special little touch that Jason's got planned for his wife. Cut a Yui, because we're definitely not going the right way. <laughs> you think? This is a f***ing sack, man. I don't think my GPS works too good. Then he had us pick up a truck, gave Mike the directions, and of course, Mike got us lost. Bear left. This is Las Vegas. There's no bear here. I don't even want to explain it. Oh, you mean it. like go barely to the left? I don't even want to explain it to you. You know where we are? Oh, my God. Well, where we're going is in a oh cul-de-sac. So we're going to keep going down until we find the right cul-de-sac. It's right there. What the f***? I like the headlights. It's a paper bag. Got wheels. Well, we got wheels. We got uh, nothing back here. This can be the right car, man. We should make sure, you know, before we even knock on a door or something, you know? <laughs> Call Danny. Make sure. I mean, this is the biggest piece of down the street, though. That's true. So it's usually the right car. What's up, Danny? What do you got, man? A quarter well, of a car. <laughs> a quarter of the car. That's what we tried to figure Truck, out. This, whatever. This is really the, truly the piece that we have to pick up. Oh, it's a, it's a good truck. You know, it's a 68 Chevy short bed, which is a really desirable truck for like a street hot rod. These Chevy trucks were revamped and renamed the Action Line in 1967. It marked the end of the truck being designed strictly for work purposes and the beginning of a more comfortable and convenient ride the average person could enjoy. How much did you pay for this? Uh, I think it was right around 4,500 bucks. Are you serious? Yeah. This is a truck like a World War II vehicle that got bombed. <laughs> <laughs> this thing will be an easy sell. We'll be able to flip this truck in no time. So trust me on this, guys. I got a plan. We trust you, brother. You know what you're doing. OK, thanks, brother. See you at the shop. All right, brother. See you soon. Peace. I'll, I'll go get her. All right. Yeah, I see the truck and I see work. Tons of work. <laughs> We're gonna get shoved down our throat. We're here to pick up your, uh, well, looks like your eyesore, honestly. Hello there. Hello. Good, I'm Rolly. Good. Wendy. Nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you. So why would you say it's such a beautiful vehicle? It's been in the family for a while. My brother's out of town, so I might as well get rid of it while he's gone. I agree. Yeah. That's the way to do things. Yeah. <laughs> when Danny called and he's all, $4,500, I'm like, sweet. My brother has not gotten as far along as he would have liked with it, so he's like, go ahead and take it. Oh, Mike, look what I noticed. There's no hinge in it. That's why you're driving it. I don't oh, care. Yeah? You're driving yeah. it? Go ahead, get in. I'll show you how to lock the door. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Have some special secret for I it, do. huh? you. Smart guy. Oh, there's your door lock. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this redneck style. Yeah, custom door lock. Got it? Yeah. Can you put a little more on there, please? A little more? Oh, yeah. You're good to go. I don't want to fly out on the right turn, you know? <laughs> You'll be good. It's for you? Oh, I got keys, too. Thank you. Nice. Hopefully start up, too. I'm glad you wore your sunglasses, seeing as how there's no window. Yeah. Wow. I got brake, too. Wow, a little rough. Come on, get her in gear. I always tell Kevin that I'm going to take him to lunch as a thank you for all of his hard work, but I never actually end up doing it. Today, I'm going to make it up to him, and I'm going to take him for a nice sit-down meal. I got stuff to do, home skillet. We still got half the day ahead of us, man. It's all going to be good, brother. Sweat it not. Oh, dude. You got to check that out. Nice car. I know it's 60s. I'll be back. That looks like a... Yeah, man. Where are you going? I can, I'll, be, I'll be You're back. You're not even going to let me finish my lunch? Eat your food. Come on. Really? How you doing? Hey, pretty good, partner. All right, man. That's a good-looking car you got here, brother. Hey, thank you very much. 63 split window. Good Lord almighty. Yeah, I've had it for 31 years. My pride really? and delight. Yeah. I'm Danny, by the way. Hey, Danny, Kim. Ken, nice to nice meet to you. Nice to meet you. It's my Hi, buddy Kevin, Kevin man. Pleased to, to meet you. Beautiful car. Yeah, Thank man, you. we're car people. If you don't mind, I'd love to like take a few minutes and really look at it and talk to you about it. Sure. You want to you pull it over here? We'll get out of the way of these people. I'll and... do it. 
I'm you rock, Ken. I appreciate it, man. I was just pulling in to get gas. All of a sudden, these guys just came up to me, started talking about my car. I was very proud to show it to them. It definitely is my pride and joy. Next to my wife, my, my favorite thing in life. <laughs> wow. 1963 Corvette, very rare because of the split window. There were only 10,000 coupes made. And when I traced the numbers down with this combination, the paint and color and everything, there were about 400 made. <laughs> Man, OK. So this is correct paint on this car? Yes. This was called Sabering Silver. It was a $90 option. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> In my opinion, the 63 Corvette has got to be one of the most beautiful cars ever built. It was designed by Bill Mitchell, who insisted on having the split window in the back. But that became a big controversy with the gentleman who was designing the car as far as performance and engineering, which was Duntoff. 63 was the only car with the split window. In 64, they eliminated it altogether, which makes the 63 that much more valuable. Open the door and get in if you like. Oh, that's dangerous. Absolutely. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh. Dangerous for other reasons. <laughs> oh. Comfortable, isn't it? It really is. I know what's coming. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. You wouldn't think about selling this, would you? No. No? No. I can't no. say that I blame you. No. I was offered $125,000 for it, and I wouldn't take that. Really? Put your wallet back in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ken. You're very I, welcome. I appreciate it, man. man. From one car guy to another, you have got yourself one amazing piece Great. here, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank one you. One amazing it. piece. Thanks, guys. I hoped that this guy would be willing to sell this car. But after talking to him just for a couple of minutes, I knew that this car was really something that meant something to him. And I get it. I have cars like that. He was not going to sell it. I like your frame job, Mike. Thanks, buddy. This is what I do. A couple days ago, me and Roly had to pick up a old Chevy pickup. The thing was in pretty bad shape. Somehow, Danny's already got a buyer for it, so he said, drop everything and get it done. Hey, this ain't no playground. What are you doing? You look like oh, you just did your hair today. Happing out. We they were shorthanded here. Whose hood are you working on? This one. They said the hood. Don't be a smart ass with me. Better not be doing your personal during my time again. Same personal. This is for some truck. I don't know which truck it's for. It's for a truck. It's supposed to be a Rolls Royce in here. Well, if this is a Rolls Royce hood, this would be a badass souped up Rolls Royce hood. But this ain't no Rolls Royce. You're supposed to be standing on a Rolls Royce hood. Well, then there should be one over here. The only hood these two screw-ups should be working on right now is a Rolls-Royce hood. And that damn sure is not a Rolls-Royce hood. That's why I have to watch them. When they start messing with my schedule with side projects, it costs Danny money. And then I'm an ass. Hey, there is a pickup truck over here in the paint shop where there's supposed to be a Rolls-Royce. Whose pickup truck is this? Is he talking something on my face? Uh, <laughs> come up out of there. Come up out of there right now. <laughs> hey, you got something there. <laughs> Stop it. You want to come hang out with me with Dumb and Dumber over here, please? What do you guys got going over here? I don't know. Scott what don't are they know what doing? He's doing? Yeah. We're trying to get this truck done. Why are you give me the crazy face like I should know? You didn't tell me nothing about oh, this. Oh, I thought you knew about this. Get the f out of here. No, you didn't. Bottom line is, this is a quick flip. All's, the whole truck was there, Scott. All we needed to find is a bed, and I'm working on that right now. You start writing the schedule from now on. You handle it. You're the man. Hey, dude. No, seriously. I got, no, I got a plan for this. Go We're ahead. gonna do a Go quick ahead. flip on this. All we got to do, I, I got a bed. I got a line on a bed, and it's What do you mean you got primer. a bed? You bought a truck without a bed? Yeah, yeah. This guy is going to ship me the bed. So the $30,000 paint job we had in this booth mm -hmm. got booted out for a $5,000 pickup? Well, it's not that you be... don't have 100% of the parts. No, it's not going to be five grand. We'll make we're going to make five grand on this deal. Maybe we, we might even make seven to eight on this pickup. Maybe nine. Right. This truck is paying payroll this week. That's all I'm telling you. All right, or next week. It's oh, going to week after. Doesn't matter. Oh, maybe, doesn't maybe three months from now. Doesn't matter. Hey, Scott, you need a tissue. <laughs> I think he's going to cry. Dumb and dumber. No, no, you're yeah. dumber, bro. No. The team is finally finished with this Chevy pickup truck, and she is absolutely gorgeous. We went through the engine, transmission, rear end, suspension, brakes, all of the custom metal fabrication is delicious. Lining up the right customer with the right vehicle can be a bit of a science, and I'm pretty good at it. I spent a lot of time talking to this guy on the phone, and I feel really confident that this truck is exactly what he's looking for. Roll it. 
that out, gang. Roll that out. Wait, let's go. Wow. Wait, let's let's go. Go. Hot drive. Sexy as can be. Cal look at that. Good. <laughs> Holy moly. In your face. That is Dang. beautiful. Troublemakers, troublemakers, troublemakers. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, anyways, Gary, <laughs> what we have here is a beautiful truck. It's a 68. It's a C10, it's a Chevy 350 motor, turbo 350 trans, it's got a 10 bolt GM rear end in it, disc brakes up front, drums in the rear, power steering, power brakes. We put a lot of time and a lot of effort getting everything to line up nice and straight and clean. And then of course we went with this, you know, psycho Tangelo paint job on it. Beautiful. With the ghost flames in it. I love the orange and black. That's a sexy good look, man. It's got you written all over it. This man. thing is gorgeous. Inside's all painted up. Wow. You guys did this up nice. Came out good. It's got the whole dash set up with modern gauges. The bed's all lined. I mean, the truck is all there. I'd really like to take it for a test drive. Absolutely. Let's go now. Let's do it. You're driving, man. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. This thing sounds great. 350 doesn't get any better than that. I've been wanting a 68 for a long time. All right. Why a 68, Gary? It's just always been my favorite. I like the grill on it. I feel you. I'm with you. I think the 68 has a really beautiful face. Yeah, I'm impressed with this truck. You look comfy in it. Yeah, you got to have it, Danny. It's a cruiser, brother. It's Dude, a cruiser. I got to have it, bro. We got we to gotta work this out. Hook, line, and sinker. Now, just got to work out the price. What's up, guys? What's, up? What's happening? Well, we just had a very nice test drive in that 68. Oh, what a beautiful truck. You guys. 20 G's beautiful? I told him where we're at. I told him we were asking 20. Mm -hmm. And he's at 15. Yeah, I know you're shaking your head, but there's common ground somewhere. We can find it. I'm sure. Yeah, I can't, sure I can't can. do 15. 15 just barely covers a paint job. We're close. We're close. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's got my name all over yeah, it, man. man. Here's the bottom line, man. This man needs this truck, and I want to put him in it. So he's right. at 15 and we're at 20. Let's find some common ground and yeah. get this man on the road. How about 19,99999? Wow. You don't love it? I'll tell you what. I'll go 17. I want the truck. 17 today. We'll drive to the bank right now. How about 19,5? Can't do it. I don't have it. Dude. I don't have it. That's where he's at, man. That's what 17. he's got. 17? Yeah, man. Seriously? If we don't take the 17, I'm just going to keep it. Sold. Get on out of here. You just bought you a truck. Yeah. Don't Dundee ever do that again, man. Thank Dundee you, Danny. Congratulations, Thank you. Gary. He Thank should you own very this truck. Much. Absolutely. <laughs> Come on, let's do some paperwork. Scott likes to bust balls, but if I've got to put $1,000 less in the bank to make sure that this truck goes to a good home, I'm good with that. Besides, I'm still walking away with 5Gs in my pocket, and that's a good day. We've got Jason's Challenger all fixed up, but this car represents more than that. It's a huge part of his relationship with his wife, who unfortunately is battling breast cancer. Now, she has no idea that the car is done, and I can't wait for him to show her. This is going to be a great day. She's home, brother. She's home. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Ready to be enjoyed, man. Thinking about maybe going cruising tonight? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to grab the wife. She needs this. I need this. Amen. <laughs> Stop burning up some premium. Hey. All right. <laughs> I hear you, man. got to show. I've got to call her out. She's got you to got see it, this. Brother. <laughs> hey, Tom. We don't normally make house calls, because we like to have the cars at the shop in case we run into any problems. But in this case, Jason and his wife, and the way she's been feeling, we wanted them to share a private moment together. Wow. <laughs> baby girl, there's no dance. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh, she looks beautiful. Everything's lined up perfect. Wow. She's ready for you guys to have some fun, God, which is exactly wait. what you deserve. <laughs> We've missed her. This Challenger was nice before, but now it's show quality. Not only did we fix the front end, but we have fixed all the dents and restored it back to its original plum crazy purple. Now it's time to show Jason's wife the surprise that he requested for her. There you go. Have a seat there. Oh, God, I'm too old for this. <laughs> Check out that glove box. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. Oh. Oh, that is nice. Mm. That's gorgeous. You like that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Very pretty. <laughs> when I got in the car and I looked at the glove box, it was just absolutely amazing. It's part of his tattoo, and it's our anniversary, and they wrapped all of that up on the glove box. It's just beautiful, and I'm just, I'm so touched. So happy. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, you're only getting to me now. Stop it. <laughs> oh. You guys deserve something to just put a smile on. Man. Look at that smile. Yeah. 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 Big, beautiful smile. That's what I like to see, man. Keys are in it. She's ready to rock, man. I don't have to worry about the wind in my hair right now, so I want to take advantage of it, you know? It's the perfect time of year. Exactly. Yeah. You know? I don't either. Are you got the same look. All right. <laughs> this particular challenger really just represents love between Jason and Tammy. And I'm just stoked that we got to do it for him. That's some happy people right there, yep. man. <laughs> Not wasting any time. I love it. That's awesome. I love it. We done did good yep. today, Kevin. It makes you feel good. Amen to that, brother. Uh, how do we get out of here? I don't know. Jump up and down, whoop, whoop. Hope they're coming back soon. <laughs>